This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring former FBI special agent and chief of the counterintelligence behavioral analysis program, Robin Dreek. The question many people have is when is Diddy going to face charges? Is he going to face charges? Will he be arrested at some point in time? As uh, the investigations, uh, two federal investigations, uh, continue to dig deeper into allegations of trafficking and also uh, abuse. Uh, and now a lot of, well, accolades and things that uh, Diddy was very proud of that were given to him all being pulled back. His law firm exiting his life at the behest of Lady Gaga, of all people. Basically, the allegations are she gave an ultimatum, says it's Gaga or Diddy. Which one's it going to be? Can you imagine saying that sentence like 30 years ago? Gaga or Diddy? Who's it going to, like, what are they talking about? What is this? <laughs> um, it's only going to get, it is crazier with the other names that are out there today. Um, it, they're gone. Miami Beach revoking Sean Diddy Combs Day. I know the residents are very sad. Now the kids aren't off of school and they're not doing fireworks and they're not uh, getting oh, new kittens every week or uh, on, on Diddy Digs. I think that was part of it, uh, making that part up. But Diddy Day was the thing. Uh, business relationships severed. Uh, stepped down to a role at Revolt TV. Grammy nominations and accolades. Uh, maybe redacted amid some of these uh, allegations. Mayor Eric Adams of New York City saying we want the key back to the city. So damn, he's not going to be able to go into uh, City Hall whenever he wants <laughs> with that giant key. Uh, and uh, Diddy also pulling all of his social media posts uh, over the last several years, including the uh, the uh, apology video. All this going on. What does it tell you about where this investigation is going uh, into Diddy? Going down. <laughs> I'm curious about seeing how far down it'll go. Um, Cause what you're seeing now is you're seeing the vortex of group think yeah. uh, coming into place. And now that people feel empowered to say uh, what's on their mind, they're all saying it, they're all doing it. And the challenge for law enforcement investigators in this is to who is actually legitimate and who's jumping on the bandwagon for self profit, you know, human mm -hmm. beings um, for hundreds of thousands of years as a species, we're really, really good at doing really, really good things for each other. And then you always, you will always, always part of our human nature, have people come along and take advantage of everything when they can. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what we're seeing here is we're seeing a lot of extremely legitimate claims, a lot of legitimate uh, accusations um, that are being leveled against him. But you're also having a lot of people jumping on that bandwagon, seeing what they could profit from it, from it as well. So it'll that's I think it's a lot to sort through for law enforcement, especially if you have someone that's been in the public spotlight for so long and presumably from what we're seeing from the accusations, taking advantage of others for so long that it's a lot to sort through, especially as we as I keep mentioning, if we're potentially dealing with any sorts of human trafficking or or sex trade or drugs there's a lot of tendrils that they want to make sure they take down with it um and then they got to deal with immunity issues because everyone that's been dealing with this that are, are coming forward i'm sure there's a lot of muddy water in their lives that they're trying to make plea agreements with you know to make them immune from saying things i mean so there's it's a lot for a team to deal with how long i mean can it take sometimes for something like this because who knows what he's going to be brought up on maybe rico charges um, mm -hmm. but cause some of these other things have uh, passed the uh, statute of limitations. But if we're talking about, uh, a Rico case, so some of these things can be brought in as evidence, um, that have passed that statute. Um, obviously there's a lot of pieces here. Like you just said that they're trying to deal with and figure out, okay, immunity, who's doing what, uh, what hands doing what, um, and it's going to take some time. Uh, could this stretch out for years still before we actually see any charges against him or it's something like this with this much being out of the public spotlight and the video being out there and people really seeing and knowing more about this person factually not just speculation wise would, would that lead to a, a quicker arrest if we're going to see one here or they just got his, their eye on him they know where he's going to be at and so they can take their time doing what they need so i'm i'm Again, pure conjecture, yeah. I guess. I'm guessing that we're getting closer to them making a move just because I, I think as the as everything keeps falling down around him, I start thinking he's a flight risk. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, they're going to want to take him into custody at some point, as well as I think what they're also doing is now that 
now that they're starting to see uh, some clarity through the fog, because when you first start doing an investigation, there's a lot of fog and you mm-hmm. see little images here, here. Again, we're talking about doing visual stuff for people to understand. Yeah. Basically, you know, everything's out in front of you, but you can't see, you can only see about this far because there's fog in front of you. The more you're doing the investigation, the fog starts clearing and uh-huh. all these data points start becoming more evident. And now they're probably really locked on with the major charges they're going to go for. Um, because the fog's cleared enough for that. And I think what happens is is that some of these other potential poten- potentialities of tendrils that are going out, they're going to let those fall and not pay attention to those necessarily. They just want to make sure they're going to go for the heavy hit and charges and then anything having to do with taking down networks of human trafficking. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are going to be – and I think as they're getting – Closer to that, we're going to start seeing or arrests potentially happening. I'm thinking sooner rather than later, just because, again, I think you're going to start having flight risks with not just necessarily Diddy, but anyone else involved. That's what I'm wondering. And 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 when this, let's just assume it's going to go down at some point, uh, do you think this is going to be a an event similar to what we saw when they raided both of his homes simultaneously? There was a reason they did that, to prevent mm-hmm. any sort of evidence being destroyed or whatever could possibly be there. It was simultaneous. We're going in there. If they're going to make arrests, if they do find this to be a ring of some sort, again, Diddy is innocent until proven guilty. I'll throw that out there. He has not been charged with anything as of right now, but just assuming that they're going to make some sort of arrest and some charges here. If there's others involved in this ring, is that one of those things where, okay, two o'clock on Tuesday, whatever it may be, uh, we're going after everybody simultaneously to prevent anybody from getting away, basically. Yeah, this is why I think there's also might be a delay in this is the court. Anytime you have something, someone of notoriety like this that is being accused of so much and there's all these tendrils that are going out there and potential other big names that are involved in this and you're going to coordinate a simultaneous takedown of everyone and searches of all these locations that I mean, think about it. You, you, if you search my house and your house, you know, it'd take them about an hour or two. Yeah. <laughs> Diddy's sprawling mansions, plural. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then anyone associated with him in that is going to take a lot of manpower resources, a lot of coordination, maybe international coordination uh, with other locations, other venues. Um, that's also potentially why there's a delay in anything, because in order to execute, and if you're going to take one person down and not have the rest of the network fleeing for the, the hills or burning down their mansions to get rid of evidence, yeah. um, that is that is gonna, that requires a large effort. I think the longer it takes to see movement on this, the more shocking some of the people involved might be. Sick of the ads? We opt to. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.